let's travel back into time. There are several scientists and researchers who are interested in bringing back the woolly mammoth, which has been extinct for thousands of years. The process of bringing back extinct species is known as de-extinction, and it involves using genetic information from preserved specimens of the extinct animal and combining it with the genetic information of a closely related living species. One of the most prominent scientists in the field is Dr. George Church, a geneticist at Harvard University. Dr. Church and his team are working to insert woolly mammoth DNA into the genome of Asian elephants, the closest living relative to the woolly mammoth. The goal of this project is not just to revive the woolly mammoth, but also to help combat climate change. In its natural habitat, the woolly mammoth helped to maintain grasslands and the tundra by trampling and grazing, preventing the buildup of snow and allowing grass to grow. With the woolly mammoth gone, the tundra has become overgrown with trees, which store carbon and contribute to climate change. While the project is still in its early stages, there is hope that we may one day see the woolly mammoth once again. However, there are also ethical and practical considerations to be taken into account, such as the potential impact on wildlife habitats and the cost and feasibility of such a project. The process of resurrecting the woolly mammoth involves using genetic information from preserved specimens of the extinct animal and combining it with the genetic information of a closely related living species. In the case of the woolly mammoth, the genetic information is being inserted into the genome of Asian elephants since they are the closest living relative of the mammoth. The process of bringing back an extinct species is called de-extinction, and it involves several steps. First, researchers must obtain high-quality woolly mammoth DNA from well-preserved specimens, such as those found in the frozen tundra of Siberia. Next, they must sequence and analyze the DNA to identify the genes responsible for traits specific to the woolly mammoth. After identifying these genes, scientists must use gene editing tools like CRISPR to insert them into the genome of Asian elephant cells in the lab. This process is called genetic engineering, and it allows scientists to create cells that carry the genetic information of the woolly mammoth. Once the genetic engineering is complete, Scientists can use cloning techniques to create embryos from the engineered cells, which can then be implanted into a female elephant's womb. If successful, the result would be a hybrid elephant-mammoth offspring, commonly referred to as a mammophant. However, it's worth noting that the process of de-extinction is a complex and controversial topic, with many ethical and practical considerations to take into account. While there is hope to see the woolly mammoth once again, there is still much research and development needed before this becomes a reality. If the project to resurrect the woolly mammoth is successful, the initial plan is to release them into remote areas of Siberia, where they originally lived before their extinction around 4,000 years ago. The reason for this is that the conditions in Siberia are similar to what they were during the mammoth's time, including the presence of the same food sources and predators. However, it's important to note that there are many ethical, legal, and practical considerations to take into account before any such release can happen. There are also concerns about the potential ecological impact of reintroducing the woolly mammoth to an ecosystem that has evolved without them for thousands of years. Therefore, it will be a while before any such release can take place, and there will likely be extensive research and consultation with experts before any decisions are made. If you enjoy our content and you want to travel with us to our next destination, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.